Hey guys, you might already know that I'm making this tutorial series in German currently at this point in time I'm recording. And during my workflow in the normal map baking, I was running into a lot of issues and I was figuring since it's a, I think, kind of rare issue, more like an issue that people with more advanced um, skill sets are hitting or running into. I was um, considering to make this one in English um, simply for the fact that more people understand English than people are understanding my native one. So bear with me, my English is not perfect, but hopefully you'll understand what I'm saying and talking about. So my basic setup, we have got a scene where we have our models and I've got one cage mesh that is working and one that is broken. I'll explain to you in a sec what that means. You also see I've already made my normal map baking in here. It's working fine. And this is my setup to view the normal map. To bake your normal map, you already know you need to make this and that one here disconnected. So I'm just deleting the normal map um, node in here. This is working fine. Uh, now we need to examine what exactly we need as our parameters. As you already know, we need to be in cycles. We need to have the normal map and we have the settings. We also have selected to active, so the first thing I'm gonna do, check that we're in object mode, go to low poly, oh, nope, wrong order, just let me hide this one, this is my high poly mesh, I'm selecting this first, then I have my low poly as the light orange one, so it's active, that's um, an easy way to check which one of your objects is active. Um, the next thing you're gonna do is you have this um, option to activate your cage which means you can um, use another object than just ray distance to calculate your normals um, and in here I have uh, a lot of objects in my scene and I've got this cage mesh too and my first cage mesh that I made um, I've also made a time-lapse where you can view this one and you also see that I ran into a lot of issues so that's why I'm making this video right now. So we have to look at our cage meshes and let's see this one here looks fine. We can also see when we select it and go into face orientation also make sure that you have at least solid displayed and you see it's blue blue is perfect we want blue um, this is showing the normals um, to a reminder normals um, always have one orientation they either face outwards or inwards and if i go inside you see it's red so this is fine we can also, um, if you have a mesh that is not displaying the normals correctly, you go into edit mode. You also see I have this display activated where you can see your normal um, orientation. And you go under mesh and normals and here you can either flip, recalculate the inside or the outside of your normals. Usually when you've got animals, for example, you use this one. This is fine, so I just leave it at the time being. And you might think, well, okay, this looks fine. It looks um, just like the low poly. I think this will work. So we hide this one. We don't need it for the render. We can also this um, disable this render tab in here. Uh, our Order of selection is important, so high poly, low poly. Then we go into our tab to make the baking. 
we have this one here we have checked everything you know and you're thinking right now this will not make any problems you will not have any issues so you say let's just bake it and there we go we are baking and now when you disable the face orientation you will have a result like this and you will think what did I do wrong why does it look this way and I was having a hard time figuring out myself I was looking through the internet I was reading forums I was asking people and nobody could tell me why it was looking this way you know I made a copy of my low poly mesh um, I had a different other object that I made as a cage priorly but I didn't have uh, the same amount of polygons so I thought let's just make a shrink wrap modifier this one here and um, set the one that is having the right um, shape as my target for my cage and apply that. Uh, the issue with that is that sometimes the vertices get completely screwed up and Blender simply doesn't know which direction they were actually going. Blender doesn't know that these are the same vertices as her, just on the other side of the object, so Blender doesn't know what to do and it's just making this funny mosaic structure or color whatever you want but it's not working apparently and you also see here in our um, image texture that we have half of the mesh um, being textured like this and there is no fix for this one this cage mesh is just broken you cannot fix it manually because um, your cage mesh looks correct but it isn't um, just because of the simple fact you used some modifier and applied it to it. So if you did something similar with your cage, check if you did any modifiers on top of that, um, if the topology is looking right, because Blender doesn't know that it's the same vertice you just pulled apart and pulled a bit out to make this cage. Blender is a d big dum-dum sometimes, so bear with me. Um, so what would, do we do to fix this? How do we keep our topology um, in place and also keep the sh uh, shape the same? Uh, what you basically do is um, you make another copy of your low poly mesh that is working correctly and um, you go and um, let's just let me just show this one because I have this modifier in here and you see I have the low cage mesh as a target for my shrink wrap modifier and I didn't apply this one. It's really important, don't apply this. Um, just keep it in your modifier stack, make sure that um, this here is um, uh, enabled so that you can see it in the render or in your bakes. And what you basically do is change this as a target instead of your old cage mesh. Make sure that you delete this one and just go with your eyedropper and select this one. That's um, basically everything. I'll go and render it out. Okay, a little correction. You have to enable rendering. I was just... Um, Disabling this one here, saying that it will do, but Blender goes like, no. So, sorry for this one. Um, just enable it and go bake. Um, I'm a, yeah. Okay, that was my mistake now. I selected the wrong objects. Sometimes I'm the big dum-dum and not Blender, my bad. Uh, so just to test my hypothesis, make this the baking and it's working. We're seeing Blender is baking and I'll see you guys in a sec. 
So blender is baking and we see nothing at all. Weird, okay. So what happened here? Da, 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 da. This is not what is supposed to happen. Let's just check again. We have our cage. We applied in her. Let's just make another bake just to test if it's actually the render ability. Maybe Blender does know what to do. After all, Blender needs clear instructions, and if we don't know what to do, Blender is just doing anything, but not what we want, to, want it to do. So we're baking. I'm not pausing my recording for this one, just in case it's doing well in the first run. Drum roll, we just made our texture fix. You see, there's no bugging anymore. We have our normal map aligned properly. There are some various tiny mistakes, but that's the spacing of my cage, so I have to readjust that a little bit. But apparently from that, that is um, everything you need to do. Basically, uh, duplicating your low poly mesh, um, making a shrink wrap modifier to this one that you duplicated, make this here your target, and make this as your baking target. That is everything you need to do if you get results like half of your mesh being split up or, uh, you know, anything that looks like it's Mm, part of the mesh and not anything sticking out. If it's sticking out, you have to um, work with these uh, values. You have to readjust your cage. Maybe there's something that is sticking out of your mesh that you didn't see before and just press render. Um, yeah, that is basically everything I wanted to tell you in this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.